The Carolingian Empire crumbled. Europe was attacked from all sides. In the south, the Saracens invaded Crete, Sicily, Tuscany, Rome, and Provence, where a beachhead was set up near St. Tropez. From the Asiatic steppes, the Magyars crossed the Danube plain and headed for Lombardy, Venetia, Bavaria, Burgundy, Provence, and Rome. And from the north came waves of Vikings, or Normans, who appeared on European soil in the early 800s. But let's not go too fast. Let's go back to 790. We are about to pay a visit to these fierce warriors, these lords of the sea. seems more peaceful than warlike. Our friend Lurch is a trail, a born serf. Bert is a bond, a free man who carries a sword. Here he comes to give his trusted servant a hand. Manage. Try this. Oh, a good idea. Here comes Jarl, or Chief. All right, all right, here I am. Mm. Accompanied by his own trusted manservant. What are they up to? Mm. Oh, What's the oh, matter? Oh, 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 oh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> but the women don't make fun of the yeah, master. Yeah, this will do some good. Hey, you slave. Come here. What? What's so funny? Careful. That's my own manservant. Mm -hmm. Well. Hey. <laughs> ah. hey. <laughs> Kirat's knotted scarf shows that she's a married woman. The chain of keys and scissors she wears shows that she's also the Degia, or mistress of the house. <laughs> that smells good. <laughs> Can we come in? Come in. That's all right, that's all right. Not again! I... Oh, I got a brilliant solution. There you go. Oh, mm. what about me? Hey, wait a minute. Come now, Pirat. Monogamy hasn't been invented yet. You'll just have to wait. Mm. Roasted seaweed. Mm. It's all I've got left. Before long, we'll have all the wells we want. Just bake. Hey, why don't we have a beer? Here you go, man. Oh, no, not you. You'll have to wait till you grow up. Wow. Dawn breaks. These newborn have spent the night lying unprotected outside the village stockade. A 
At the Earl's orders, all the men leave to begin the fishing season. The chief's wives and his children, legitimate and otherwise, have come to wave goodbye to their lord and master. Pierrette prepares birch bark bread, food for times of famine. Hey, what do you say we go hunting for Eider Down? I'm ready when you are. Let's go. Hey, wait up. Crime doesn't pay, my boy. Hold on a minute, children. Here. These are for you. Hey there, ton of bricks that you try and keep still, huh? Quit leaning over the place, you'll capsize us. That's enough now, cut it out! Hey, stay low, stay low, everyone. We're losing speed. Hey, come on, take my place up here at the helm. Oh, I'm coming. Stay low. I see whales. What? Whales are killing you. Huh? There's tons of them. Ah! Take a look, Chief. Why didn't you say so? Have a single one up from the group. Hey, whale to starboard, coming straight for us. <laughs> Take a look at our boats down there. Looks like they're biting. Chief, I am entitled to a full basket of down. Give no. it to me. Got him. He's grounded. We got him. We got him. Hop, 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 Look at that kid's doing, Chief. You could do just as well. Uh, hey. uh. You all right, Chief? <laughs> By the time the boats head for home, all that is left on the shore is a pile of bones. And so the hunt has been a successful one. The race is on to reach home. Uh, uh. You'll pay for that. Just you wait, you. Soon the great festival of the summer solstice will begin. Maestro, the wise elder, gives the signal in front of the altar to the gods. Thor and by his side, Odin, and Frey. All kneel. We offer you this blood, O oh ye gods, to appease your anger. Is this meat or strong beer here? Mm, one taste. Mm. You just have to make sure it's good. What's this? Beer good, very strong. Oh, some more. Just a little sip. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> hey, those women don't know anything about booze. I never drank that before. Never. 
In the foreground, we see the men's table. The women sit in the back, with the children in the middle. And here are the menfolk dressed up for the occasion. Let's play a joke. Yeah. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> a toast to the great feast of the summer solstice. Mm. And the gods who hold me in their favor. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? But where's he gone to? <laughs> 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 All right. <you. laughs> it's little birds and little urchins who did it, not me. All right, my fine fellows, you not only insult my son, you dare to insult me, your chief. Won't be long, you'll see who's boss here. You'll make examples for all the others. Hold on there. Come over here. One moment. Just a minute, my friends. According to the law, this must be settled by a duel. Hmm. Hmm. It was the custom for the opponents to meet at the Yggdrasil, or Tree of Life, where the duel would take place. The distance will be 15 meters. Good. Here, catch this. What the? Uh, good. At my signal. Ready or not. One, two, uh, uh, one second! <laughs> stop! Stop! We'll have to go on to the next test. Here, uh, go ahead. Shoot! <laughs> My turn. Shoot! Shoot, why don't you? Hmm. What are you waiting for? <laughs> oh, no, that's the last straw. Unbelievable. I won. Go on. There. Your chief has disgraced the Viking's honor. Banish him! Yay! Yeah. The, the chief has no respect for the Vikings' laws. He's got to leave. Understood. They put you out. You're now oh. an Utlagi, an outlaw. You must never return to this village. You're banished. <laughs> Good riddance. But big fish were not the only food for the Vikings. One morning, Maestro and his young friends do you realize uh, how high those salmon are jumping? I've got an idea. Try these. Okay. <laughs> well done, Waldo. And now look, why don't we do it like the fish? Like this. Or maybe like that. Or even... Why, sure. Why not? There. Why didn't I think of it sooner? Eureka! Huh? I found it! I found it! Oh, 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 I found it! By cracky, I found it! Just copy the salmon. We can huh? jump right over whatever's in the way. <laughs> Why don't we do what Maestro says? Let's try. Uh, uh, stop! <laughs> There's something in the way. Let's disembark here. Put the boat on these logs and roll it. Yeah, that's the ticket. That's it. You keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Very good. Very good. Keep going. <laughs> What the? What the devil are they doing? Chief! Chief! Come what? quick! Come and see what they're All doing! All right, come quick. Unbelievable! Look at that! Oh! That oh. oh. is not bad. If we use the, their method with light boats, no reason we couldn't attack the upland villages, eh? Is there? Chief! Chief! I've been a 
village is being attacked by pillagers. What do we do? What do you think? We'll show them whose town this is. <laughs> By sea at mm. night. By the dead chief's side are placed his weapons, shields, his jewels, and the food he'll need during his long voyage. His eldest son has the honor of lighting the pyre. No, there's nothing sad here, for Odin, god of warriors, has a place of honor waiting for he who dies a brave death. And revenge was taken over and over in a vicious cycle of plunder and attack. The land became one vast battlefield. From now on, looting is forbidden among the Norsemen. Instead, let's work together to build great ships so that we can travel far to find food, women, wealth, slaves, and land for our children to till. Hey, hey, hey. Not bad, this one. Nah. Mm. Good. Well, well, sure, why not? Hey, you. Hey, hey, hey. We're only in 792, not 1492. Hold your horses. How true. <laughs> Sixteen planks on either side, riveted together, overlapping slightly. Yes. Ships are ready. Now you must elect a chief. One of these candidates must lead the first expedition. Make your choice. Hmm. Hey, 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 hey. Here is your new chief. You must all swear loyalty to him. Go ahead. Long, Long live, live our chief. chief. Long, Long live, live the chief. chief. That'll do it. Everything all right? It might work, but I'll be needing some cow hair. There you go. Thanks, Maestro. Everything seems to check out fine. 23 meters 33 by 5 meters 25. Height 1 meter 95, water level 85 centimeters. Uh, or locks 1 meter apart. Looks fine. Length of oars, 4 meters 50. My, look how solid those shields look. Good. Now let's get her into the water. Fine. Load the horses. No, that won't do. Most definitely, that will not do. Hey, what if we tried it this way? No, the poor thing would get dizzy. Uh, how about that? Hop. Uh, a little risky. What if he jumps in? Yes. What if he falls overboard and... Uh, that's it. That's the answer. <laughs> there, my friends. Bring back the horse now. Just tip the boat, and he'll climb aboard easily. How did I ever get such an idea? <laughs> 
Loading begins. Each ship contains 2,500 kilos of provisions, 400 kilos of weapons, and 40 men. Each man's coffer will double as his seat while he rows. And remember, no fires on board. Eat your food cold, and here's my latest invention. It will help you navigate. With it, you'll keep right on course. Fine, we're about ready. Want to come with us? You're a man now. In a fog as thick as this one, it's not easy to use Maestro's instrument. The chief decides to release some crows. If they don't come back, we've got to be close to shore. Ah! Land ho! The year is 793, the island of Lindisfarne off the coast of Northumbria in northern England was the site of the first Viking raid. <laughs> Rejoice in the grave. And now it's up to you, my youngest, to go in search of new treasure. Okay. <clears throat> Farewell, son, and good luck. Bye! Goodbye! Goodbye! Come back Have soon. a safe journey! In 830, the Vikings headed for Ireland. Torgsil, the Norwegian chief, decided to make it his own. In 839, he was proclaimed king of Ulster. By 840, the Vikings ruled the Low Countries. And the Danes had sailed up the same river as far as Rouen. 843, it's Midsummer's Day in the French city of Nantes. In 844, the Vikings follow the River Garonne into Toulouse, on their way to Spain. In 845, 120 ships sailed up the Seine and sacked Paris. In 850, it was the Thames, the Seine again, and the Loire. 856 and 57, Paris was in flames. In 859, the conqueror Hasting took his 62 ships and left the Seine. His ships rounded the coast of Spain and sailed past Gibraltar to conquer the Moors in Morocco. They sacked Murcia, the Balearic Islands, Roussillon and Camargue in France. The next goal was Italy, Pisa and Luna. But here at last, they met with solid resistance. We'll never be able to get in there. Chief, I got an idea. If you disguise yourself behind your weapons. Mm. Ah. Our beloved chief, the noble Hastings, was killed in battle. His last wish was to have a pious burial. All his treasures will go to the church. I accept. <laughs> Rome in turn would be burned. In 862, Hastings made his triumphal return to his base in Noirmoutier, where his war plunder was shown to all. In the same year, the Vikings left Sweden to ply Russia's rivers, the Volkhov, the Dnieper, the Volga. Rurik founded Kiev, the first Russian state. At about that time, the Varangians had reached Constantinople. 870, East England was conquered by the Danes. 874, fair-haired Harold succeeded in unifying the Norwegians, who had soon found Reykjavik in Iceland. 880, France, Belgium, and Germany were invaded. Viking ships wreaked havoc all along the Seine, the Somme, the Scheldt, the Meuse, the Rhine. 885, Paris was under siege. 700 ships were deployed for a distance of over three kilometers. <laughs> King Charles the Fat bought the retreat of the invaders for 700 pounds of silver. In 911, Charles the Simple gave the Norman chieftain Rollo a present, Normandy, a region already familiar with Vikings. Rollo pledged allegiance to the king. Huh? Ah. Oh, 
982, Eric the Red sets foot in Greenland. Other explorers get as far as Newfoundland and the American continent. 1028, Newt the Great reigned over Denmark, Norway, and England. 1059, Robert Gruscard became Duke of Puglia and Calabria. 1061, with his father, he snatched Sicily away from the Arabs. This time, it was the Normans who arrived in Constantinople by way of the Balkans. William of Normandy landed in England to claim the throne. King Harold came to meet him. The result was the Battle of Hastings. And William became King of England. The Vikings were warriors, but also traders and colonizers. They were instrumental in extending the limits of the world of their time. And so their voyage through history was more than just a series of bloody battles. And in 1096, those who had been the most fervent of Norman pagans would join the Crusades and lead the Christians into battle. <laughs>